Hey everyone, Jason here with Milwaukee Instruments. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe buttons, and you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. On today's video, we will be going over the calibration procedure of the Milwaukee Instruments PH55 and PH56 pocket testers. The only difference in the Milwaukee Instruments PH55 versus the PH56 pocket testers are that the PH55 test in tenths while the PH56 test in 100s. Other than that, they calibrate the exact same and they also have the same replacement electrode. In a previous video, we discussed the Milwaukee Instruments PH600. That unit had a one point manual calibration. The PH55 is a step up above the Milwaukee Instruments PH600 as it features automatic two point calibration with temperature compensation. What's the difference in a one-point versus two-point calibration? I'm glad you asked. When using a two-point calibration, you're actually able to narrow down the pH accuracy of what you're testing. So for example, if you're testing something more acidic, such as beer and wine, you would want to calibrate using seven and four calibration solution. If you're looking to calibrate something more base, such as a salt water tank, you would want to use seven and 10 calibration solution. For today's exercise with the PH55, we are going to calibrate using seven and 10 calibration solution. To begin, as stated in previous videos, you want to be sure to condition and hydrate your probe for a minimum of two hours in Milwaukee Instruments MA9015 storage solution prior to calibration. Once you have allowed the allotted time for your probe to hydrate and condition, you can then remove it from the storage solution and dry it off. We're going to start the calibration process by turning the unit on. We're going to let the display screen pop up. Once the screen pops up, you're going to hold the on off cow button until cow displays. Then you release the button and it's going to say 7.01 use which is when you put it in your seven calibration solution. It takes a couple of seconds and then it will read OK1, notifying you that the seven side of the unit is calibrated. Once this is done, we are gonna give it a quick rinse in Milwaukee Instruments rinsing solution. If rinsing solution is not available, you can use tap water. Okay, I got the OK one. Gonna take it out, give it a quick rinse in the rinse solution. And then we're gonna dry it off real quick, and then we're gonna stick it in the tin. And we're gonna wait for it to read OK two, notifying us that the tin side is calibrated. Once you get the OK two, take it out of the calibration solution, wipe it dry. Your unit is ready for use. We're going to check the pH level in our saltwater tank. The pH value should be around 8.2, while the temperature should be around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to take the cap off the unit, push the on button, and it's reading 8.2, temperature 78.4 degrees Fahrenheit, right where it needs to be. For additional calibration solutions, storage solution, cleaning solution, rinse solution, and replacement electrodes, please be sure to visit milwaukeeinstruments.com. With the Milwaukee Instruments PH55, you have the ability to change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Simply turn your unit on, wait for the display to pop up. Once it pops up, you're gonna hold the on off cow button until it displays temp. Once it displays temp, you're going to release, then you're going to hit the set hold to alternate between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Once done, hit the on off cow button to go back to the main menu. Another key feature with the Milwaukee Instruments PH55 is the hold button. This allows you to freeze the display prior to removing from a sample. 
When replacing the batteries inside the Milwaukee Instruments PH55 unit, simply unscrew the top of the unit. There are four batteries located on the inside. Take these out and you're going to replace them with four 357A button cell batteries. Make sure to follow the correct polarity markings when replacing the batteries. With all electrodes and probes over time, like batteries, they lose their juice. So eventually you will have to replace the electrode on your Milwaukee Instruments PH55 unit. To do so, turn it up where the probe is facing up and you're going to unscrew the locking collar. Simply twist it off, remove, the electrode simply pulls away from the base unit. The model number of this replacement electrode is MI56P. On the Milwaukee Instruments PH55 tester, you will notice three separate gaskets on the unit. One where the battery compartment is, one on the locking collar, and one on the electrode. Although this unit has three gaskets, this is a water resistant unit. It is not waterproof. It is not intended to be fully submerged in samples you are testing. Be sure the gaskets are properly seated when replacing the batteries and the electrode. Thank you again everyone for watching today's video. Please stay tuned for upcoming videos. And thank you again for choosing Milwaukee Instruments for all of your testing needs.